Ah. Welcome to the Lake Forest Podcast, a podcast about the lovely city of Lake Forest, featuring topics like local news, sports, music, people, food, and business. My name is Pete, and I also live in Lake Forest. I'm joined with my co-hosts, Scoo Walker and Arthur Miller. We all live in Lake Forest. Hey, we have a sponsor for the show today, Neuro Noodle. Do you or, do you or your kids play sports? Get a brain map at Neuro Noodle so you can have a baseline to compare it to in case there's a trauma event. Hey, you get a physical every year, right, before your kids play sports? Well, why aren't they doing the same for their brain? That's NeuroNoodle.com. Okay, one of the goals of the podcast is to help out our local businesses by putting a spotlight on them. Today, we're joined by Trey Gonzalez and Kip Halverson from Smith's Men's Store. Let's chat with Kip and Trey and see what's the latest at Smith's Men's Store. Kip, Trey, thanks for coming on the show with us. All right, thanks for having right, us. Glad to be here. <laughs> well, I'm glad we could finally connect. Where are you guys at? Florida or something? You know, working on, you know, getting a little glow going. Right. It's a no. little research trip. <laughs> research buying. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. We're uh, back are you to guys... Lake Forest right now, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's almost like uh, Florida the last couple of days. Do you guys know Skip and uh, Arthur? We do. We do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How do you guys know each other? Well, Skip's well, our, our, excuse our neighbor and uh, at Smith's. And uh, and art I know through the Lake Forest Preservation Foundation. Outsta well, everybody knows art. Everybody knows school. Oh, yeah. I forgot he's a yeah. beer spill away at Dakota Insurance Group. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Beer spill. The best. That should be my new uh, logo or whatever. <laughs> Empty beer. Well, if I was slogan. If 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 I was smarter, I would have changed the script and put Dakota Insurance Group, but uh, <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Well, I'm glad we could finally connect. Uh, now, are you guys from Lake Forest? What's the 411? Clue me in on you guys. I know it, I don't see a last name of Smith there. I've only lived in Lake right. Forest three three years. <laughs> Scoo's 57, Art's like forever. So I'm like one of those new guys that moved in trying to get a clue in. Uh, no, I, I actually grew up uh, about 12 miles south in a very small town called the Village of Golf. It's the, uh, it's the smallest suburb of Chicago. And I always tell people I've, I'm from Glenview because it's so close to Glenview. The Glenview Club yeah. is actually in Golf, Illinois. It's not in Glenview. Um, but I've known Lake Forest all my life and uh, have been coming up here all my life and always just enjoyed it. thought it was one of the most beautiful places in Illinois. And Trey? Yeah, and I uh, grew up in a rural um, town in West Texas. So I'm a, I'm oh, a long nice. time. <laughs> yeah, we, we were nice. both living in the city. I had lived in the city, though, for, I'm going to age myself here, for 27 years before we decided to move out to Lake Forest uh, three and a half years ago at the end of 2017. Oh, wow. We, uh, we all kind of moved in here about the same time. That's interesting. All right. We're, we're in the city. Well, I was always in Lakeview. Um, yeah. Not too far from Ridley Field. And uh, we had had a house, a house there. Uh, before we moved out here. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I did a tour of duty over there. Uh, worked at worked at the Cubby Bear for for a while in my youth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. oh well. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. So you guys are uh, you, you moved to Lake Forest, and then how'd you get into Smiths? Like, when was it for sale? Who is Mr. Smith? Was there a Mr. Smith? Help me out. Art's chomping at the bit. I know, but you know, let the newbie oh, get the good. questions out. Well, I'll feel a little bit of it. Yes, there was a Mr. Smith who opened the store in 1937. And then his son, Brooks, ran it after he did for about two more decades. Uh, and then John Sedell, who had worked for the Smith family, he took it over. It, it, you know, uh, and he had it up until 2019 when we then purchased it from John and kept it going. Wow, okay. Yeah, it was interesting because uh, uh, Smith's was not on our radar when we moved to Lake Forest at all. So, uh, you know, my background is in interior design. I ran a custom lighting showroom at Merchandise Mart in the city when we moved here. And Kip's from software and technology. So owning a men's <laughs> store, you know, it wasn't uh, <laughs> the plan. Uh, but, you know, we when we found out that Smith was closing and it was the only men's store in town, you know, we just didn't want it to close. And we kept joking. We were having um, we were having dinner at the Deer Path Inn with friends, and they kept saying, "Oh gosh, somebody should keep that open. Somebody should buy it." 
and we should do something. Someone <laughs> should do something. And we said, yeah, you're right. Somebody should. And uh, then, you know, lo and behold, it, that became a business plan. And then all of a sudden uh, we're the new owners. <laughs> yeah. Now, was this right before COVID or right during COVID? Like it was. Uh, so we reopened the store uh, the Saturday before Thanksgiving in 2019. So okay. we were we had reopened for about three and a half months, uh, and then COVID happened, and then we were closed for about two and a half months. So I mean, it was a little jolting to say the least. That when you know when you invest in a new business and you're only open for a short time, and then have to close without knowing what's going to be next. Um, right. But you know, we live in a really supportive community, and they appreciated the fact that we wanted to keep it going, and uh, they were were very supportive all through the quarantine and. Uh, so they would just call and say, hey, we would love to buy a gift certificate or do some shopping with you uh, on FaceTime. And because uh, we want to make sure that after this is all done, that you guys are still there. Yeah. Got it. Scoo, Art, hop in. You, you guys know Smith better than I do. Yeah, I could see uh, Scoo going in there, getting a nice little uh, bow tie. <laughs> 430 every day we, I go in there. <laughs> Are you the lantern or? or that was pre lantern. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Arthur, what do you remember about Smiths back in the day? Well, of course, I came to town as we talked about earlier when, when school was just about seven, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so at first I went into the store. Brooks, it was by Brooks, was, was running it then. His mother was around the edges. Um, but I, I had <clears throat> purchased in England earlier a uh, Harris tweed coat and uh, looked at one that they had there. But I said, you know, here I am in Lake Forest. I mean, how many months of the year can I really wear a Harris tweed coat in Lake Forest? And he, without batting an eye, Brooke said, 10, <laughs> leaving out <laughs> July and August, you know. But basically, <laughs> You know, look what happened yesterday when it went from 80-something to 50-something. The lake temperature in, through June stays chilly. So uh, I've been a customer ever since, you know, my first fall here, really. Oh, wow. That's that's nice. What about, what about you there, Scoo? 430, uh, just, huh? Huh? Yeah, 430. Go in and say hi. You know, have a glass of water with everyone. You know, that wasn't their, just where they're located now wasn't their original spot where they used to be at the uh, old bookstore or the new, the bookstore in town. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, they were over there somewhere near in that area, right? Right where the bookstore is. Yeah, probably okay. up until the 80s. They were there and yep. then they moved into the current location where we are now. Yeah. As okay. soon as it was taken over by, uh, there'd been an old time a uh, real estate group from town that had owned it. And when they sold it, um, miraculously, the rents went up, you know. Oh, yeah. Huh. And so they shifted over. So now you guys came in and you bought it. And then the current owner, I mean, I cheated. I read the uh, the Lake the Lake Forest, Lake Bluff uh, commerce page. So the owner's helping you out. Uh, what? How, How's the transition yeah. been? Plus no, COVID, been how's the city helped and so forth? Sure. Uh, so what's been nice is that John Tadell, the former owner of the store, he uh, he stayed on with us to help us open the store and he would come in a couple of days a week in his retirement and work. And, you know, it was uh, something that we had talked about just, you know, for a couple of months, he was going to come in and now he's stayed on and over, over all these months, he still comes in a couple of days a week and spends time with us and, and, I was on the payroll and because essentially he just kind of <laughs> joked that, you know, we get to do all the things that he didn't like to do. And now he can come in and do everything he did like to do. Right. <laughs> now, a lot of the work I hear is, is buying. So you, you do is that when you're in Florida, but, you know, buy it. Cause I, I don't know. I'm not that a fashion research. guy. When you meet me, you'll figure it out. Down there, yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we do, we do the buying a lot together. Uh, our first introduction to it was attending the Chicago collective, which is the, the biannual um, vendor show, manufacturer show. Um, and it gave us an opportunity to get to know the brands that were already in Smiths at a better level and the construction and the levels of 
of brands that they have within their products. And it also gave us a chance to see some other products that we brought in. So a lot of people come in now for like 34 Heritage Pants. That was a new brand that we brought into the store ourselves and it's become very quickly one of our top sellers. Um, another one would be Mizzen and Main, which is um, a very current look. Um, and it, it, they have a variety of sizes. So we have a lot of friends that uh, have told us they, they would typically shop at a big and tall shop but because of what we're doing with the Mizzen and Main line of products, hey, come see us. I saw the hand go up. Be careful of what you wish for, gentlemen. <laughs> now, now, Trey and I are both under the, the, the five, nine and under club. So, you know, they fit us really well, but yeah, we also right. have friends that are above the six, four and linebacker level. And so they also have, you know, triple XL and they have it in tall. Yeah, the fat offensive lineman them. level. That's what, you, that's what you need right there. <laughs> so Big cat. So we are trying to cater to a, you know, a broad group of people. And, uh, and so far, I think it's been well received. It's going pretty well. Okay, all right. Uh, what percentage of your inventory is vineyard vines? So um, let's see here. Initially- I was being funny for my neighbor, Toby. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, no, we have, we have customers that come over there and they, they buy exclusively vi vineyard vines yeah how, how long ago did that line start just just asking for a friend gosh you can I'm... lie we have tons of fact checkers right here. Yeah, okay. 20 years ago 20 years ago <laughs> at least um, years. <laughs> okay. yeah i'm not i'm not sure of how long it started but it's definitely a good core brand for us um yeah the thing is i would have i would have told you like five plus years ago it, it definitely would cater to a young gentleman but we've actually yeah. seen their demographic get older because they are making such a broad uh, classic uh, type clothing that um, there's a lot yeah. of people that, that come into the store and they call it by name. Got it. And do you guys just have shoes there? Or is it strictly, you know, jackets, pants, oh. you know, what? Well, lovely. you're going to go to the bootery and well, then you walk over. You might say that. <laughs> oh, so, really? Um, we haven't been carrying shoes up until this point, but uh, we are going to be actually expanding the store uh, within the next month. Yep. And in the new expansion, uh, we will be carrying footwear. So, um, so we thought that, you know, with the store, if it does well in the first three to five years, we may look for another space, maybe give us a little, a little bit more room. Well, it turns yep. out that the space directly behind us, uh, which is to the, uh, to the West, uh, was a hair salon and, uh, she recently retired and that space became available. So we reached oh, out to our cool. landlord and um, that, and then shortly after that, we ended up leasing the space. It is currently under construction and we're hoping within the next four to six weeks to have uh, an additional thousand square feet uh, to the store. Holy cow, God, and, uh, God bless America with these two. <laughs> is, that what all the, is that what all the scaffolding is in the front there? It looks so like it was the, tuck pointing. Uh, Right, the scaffolding there, they are gonna be tuck pointing the exterior okay. of, the, of the building. Okay. So yeah, they're, it's really nice that they're investing into the, into the building there. Well, yeah, I mean, we got, they gotta keep their runners, that's right. <laughs> uh, do you wanna give a shout out to the landlord or anybody over there? Maybe they'll give you a couple bucks off. Maybe oh. not. <laughs> I, no, I, I do wanna give a shout <laughs> yeah, out to yeah. them. Um, yeah, so I mean, uh, they're, Don and Mike, they recently just took over because um, Tim Christensen previously had uh, had owned the building and his sister Don took it over and her with her husband. And they've done a phenomenal job just updating the building. And uh, they're just, they're really, they're great to work with. And the management company is Cack and Master out of Li uh, Liber Libertyville. Okay. And, uh, uh, and they've, they've been great to work with as well. So we feel really fortunate that, um, you know, through all of this, that they've been so supportive. Yeah, I do want to give them just a special shout out because when you had mentioned COVID, it was it was a very scary time for us. And mm -hmm. one of the very first phone calls we made was to the landlord. And I have to say they were very understanding. They worked with us. They helped us with it in a way for cash flow purposes. And I really felt, as Trey had said, you know, on all aspects, everyone in Lake Forest, Lake Bluff really stepped up to say they want us here. They wanted to see us through. And and they helped us with it. So I'm glad you asked us to give them a shout out. They were very helpful. And then of course, when the, when the space behind us opened up and we, we reached out, they said, you guys have first right of refusal if you want that space. So again, they've just been, they've been just great to work with. No, that's, that's awesome. 
So, I mean, we're, there's no other place to get clothes in Lake Forest, is there, guys? I mean, I, okay, boot, bootery, but for guys, you know, to go in. Yeah, so one of the things that we've been hearing from a lot of our customers is that there's this gap in town from, you know, uh, you can get clothes for children and clothes for men, but there's nothing really for young guys. So we have been hearing that loud and clear. And so in the new space, we are going to be expanding the sizes that we're offering in some of the basics, like khaki pants, navy blazers, white button down shirts, socks, underwear, uh, swimsuits, that type of thing. So we're going to have uh, those sizes now for, you know, the junior high to high school uh, young guys. So, Stu, what was your... Uh... Uh, look back in the day, you had the blue blazer and the khaki pants on, right? No, yeah, I you did. Not. Uh, you had like the striped shirt. No? <laughs> no, I lived on Griffith uh, Road. I don't wear. I didn't wear that. Stuff. Uh, all right, just checking. Me thinks thou does protest too much. Well, Scoop, okay. come in and see us, and we'll get you a navy blazer and some khaki <laughs> pants. I'll turn that into the uniform of your life. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm, I will. That's honestly that's how I grew up. I think it's I call it the uniform of a young man's life is just the khaki pants and the navy blazer. It was always appropriate, you know, and it's something that uh, we we have gentlemen who come in and they bring their sons in to get their first navy blazer, and they yeah. tell us they got their first awesome. navy blazer at Smiths and. You know, and that's that's just part of the legacy of Lake Forest that we really want to promote and uh, and preserve. I mean, it's a rite of passage. I mean, we make fun of it. It's, but I mean, that's just what it is. That you, that's the outfit. And Scoo keeps saying he never wore that stuff, and I know he did. Uh, not as a kid, but as an adult, I did. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Pink like shirts, 13? yellow shirts. The. <laughs> All right. Well, school, we'll take you to the deer path in and you'll look like a million bucks in your navy blazer and your, your khaki pants. <laughs> I'm coming you know, over that... right, I'm coming over right now. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing hey, that, is when you walk that, into what, the what about school, what about the deer path? Did they uh I'm cheating off of that article, but uh did, did do they come to you for all the bow ties and everything? Do they keep keep up with that or yeah, so they have been great partners with us. Um, you know, they have guests that that may need something uh very quickly they give us a call and we work with them and make it happen and so we've been it's been great they've been a very good partner so the concierge you guys are taking care yes. of each other okay smart yeah, you guys are too smart we have a good relationship with them as well you know they even had a, a holiday boutique in the deer path in and they had our products from smith's men's store in there and that, of course, introduced other people that might be visiting from out of town to come by the store. And of course, then we're by the Lantern and Authentico. So they come by the store and they stop off at one of those uh, fine establishments yep. uh, for some food or a pint, you know? So <laughs> yeah. we're all in this together. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it's uh, you got to get them right after the Lantern and especially Authentico. <laughs> Two or three drinks in, oh man, jack up the prices 20%, you'll be fine. Scoot <laughs> uh, Sco and Arthur, what else should we know about uh, Smith's Men's Store? Well, I was just going to say that one of the things is that I think that the stores for men along the North Shore in general have thinned out. Um, I'm not sure from Winnetka where there is that they can go for the same kind of you know lines that you guys have. Um, so, you know, Glencoe, Highland Park. I'm not sure how much coverage there is, but I think that a lot of people would probably be attracted to your particular blend of, of things. So that should be good. Yeah. Uh, the history does go back. I mean, Brooks's mother, who used to be in the store, she was an Adderidge. The Adderidges um, came, that, that family originally came in the 1830s. Uh, to the area um, where West Park is, that was the Adderidge Farm. And um, Brooks, I think, lived on, uh, his, his folks lived on uh, Oakwood over there. They built a house on the farm when it was redeveloped in the early part of the 20th century. So, you know, it was an old line family store in, in Lake Forest and appealed to a wide range of, of locals because of that. Um, <clears throat> because they all were tied in together. And so I think everybody was really excited when you guys were going to keep it open because it was, it was going to be a loss. 
really yeah. it's gonna be a big loss yeah and something that was really special is at our ribbon cutting um uh, brooke smith's widow jackie smith yeah. uh was present and she held the ribbon for us for our ribbon cutting so that was that oh. was nice that she came all the way out from Woodstock uh, for our reopening. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I guess we had three generations. If you think we had Jackie Smith, we had John Tadell, and then we had us, you know, all involved with the relaunch. I will say of yeah, of yeah, the yeah. Store. So everyone. Yeah, was and John was a teenager when I started helping in the store. Yep. Um, so he was he was there for his whole career really, um, and catered to. Everybody watched them, you know, then and their kids came in and everything like that. So are you guys gonna get uh, an online presence, uh online orders that go on there? Pete, you're too huge. Uh you're gonna have to special order this. Uh <laughs> what, what? <laughs> so it's uh so what's nice is that uh you know it, historically Smith's has never had a website. So we do have a website now and uh the online shopping portion of the website will be launched very, very soon. It's in the final stages. And because uh, we have had a lot of people that are supporting us whenever they go uh, out of town and maybe head to somewhere else for the winter, they still want to support the store. And we will have an online presence very soon. That's Got true. Keeping, you're keeping the traditional the red wrapping paper, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, when I, launched the store and we had the the grand opening you know i had these grand plans of this you know great window hold on uh wrapped gift and so we wanted to make sure that we kept that tradition of the red wrapping paper and the white ribbon well, and so a lot of people did comment that uh, uh, that that was a great window. But the other change is we did change a little bit where previously it had a curtain that kind of blocked the window from the store. And we took that curtain away. Right. And so with the plate glass window, everyone could see the store. And we had had draperies closed while we did the whole refurbishing, remodeling of it. So all of a sudden you had the window open. You just saw the gift, but you could see the entire store. And so people, you know, they knew something new was going on. And I think it was very attractive for people to come in and see, hey, what was going on at Smith's? It worked well. It's a wonderful I'm... job you guys did. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. It's true. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> funny because the interior is, uh, the interior color is navy blue and khaki to go back to the navy blazer and khaki pants. That was the yeah, whole yeah, yeah. <laughs> <of> the interior. <laughs> <laughs> Who put the uh, clouds in the window and the umbrellas? That, that uh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Every time I do a window, I just go to one of the craft stores and walk up and down the aisles until I figure out yeah. what I want to do in the window. <laughs> oh. how, how'd prom go last week? Good? It was great. It was, uh, you know, we've been having everyone come back and drop off the, the tuxes over the past couple of days. And the parents and the high school kids that have been coming back saying that, you know, all things considered, they had a great time. And, uh, and they felt really comfortable in their tuxes and everyone looked good. So it was a success for sure. See, this is part well, of the job that I would say is very rewarding for us is to the, see the excitement of these young men going through the process of picking out their formal wear, getting excited for the evening. You know, that's a reward that we're getting from doing this that we just didn't anticipate. Um, people will ask about it it from a business perspective, but I'm like, there's so many rewards that we're reaping that have nothing to do with really the business side of it. It's really nice. I mean, the new guy here, you guys are doing tux rentals for the kids for the prom. Nice. Well, we do formal rentals for whatever you need. If you need it for yeah. a wedding, we wedding. do white tie for the cotillions and, and some of the, the balls. And, uh, and yeah, of course, prom is a big one for us. Okay. Shoot. We should have got you on a couple weeks ago. I tried. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> okay so we got the rentals we get we get Scoo's outfit uh my buddy toby's gonna get his vineyard vines there art you're gonna get the english tutor blazer what did you call that <laughs> harris, <Tweet. laughs> harris, harris. Tweet. That, was, that was almost 50 years ago but uh oh. i still I still need more things, so I'll be in. You know. Okay, all right. That's all right. the challenge we have. Our products are so well made, they last you a lifetime. Yeah, we'll see. That's, <laughs> that's a problem. Yeah. Right. Great for you. It's a problem for a, a men's <laughs> building. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. 
I got okay, a are... new money clip. You guys got those? We do. We do. Money. I'm in a visit. What's what do you do with money, Scoo? <laughs> it's to hold stuff. I don't okay, have any just... money. I just need okay. stuff to hold something. <laughs> Well, I thought you were making a ton off of this podcast. You guys are at... <laughs> we'll put you at the top. 770 Northwestern Avenue in Lake Forest. Is that where you guys are at? Okay. Exactly. What The, the website's up. Uh, E-commerce is coming, right? Okay. And you're going to expand in the back, and you're going to have shoes. And younger oh. men's clothes, too. And younger men's clothes. Okay. All right. What else am I? What else are we missing here, guys? We're gonna have. We had the police chief on. We we're talking about. Uh, we think everybody's gonna be coming out in droves uh, with the warm weather uh, getting back to normal. Uh, that foot traffic should be picking up. Yeah, know? we have definitely seen traffic pick up uh, for sure, and it's uh, just nice that as you know the, some of the restrictions ease it's kind of nice to see people's faces again <laughs> right 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 okay all right guys so uh, any other business you want to recognize to bring on we brought you on uh, you want to tag somebody we'll bother them till they come on just like we did with you guys yeah i mean we just wanted to give a shout out to our, our neighbors at the lantern and authentico you know Beth won't come on, and Authentico, I forget her name, they, they won't come on. If you just drop a little hit, they must have too much business, you know? Too much, you know. Well, state of the art is, you know, Authentico's got some of the best margaritas in town, and I also have to say that uh, I'm a regular at the Lantern for their roasted chicken. <laughs> Stop me on the street sometime, and I'll tell you more why, but it's, it's the best roasted chicken in town. What? Beth is getting more publicity by not coming on this show <laughs> yeah. than coming on this show. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Trey, and Kip, Trey and Kip, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having us. This yeah, has been fun. You. Oh, we'll, we'll make it a regular thing. You got those coupons coming out there. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Lake Forest Podcast. Please give us five stars on Apple Podcasts and smash that like button on Facebook, Instagram, and follow us on Twitter. Let us know what you'd like to hear about any upcoming shows. Again, I'm Pete. and can be reached at Pete at Lake Forest Podcast.com. The link will be in the podcast notes below. On behalf of my co-host, Scoo Walker and Arthur Miller, it's nice to have you, Arthur, on the show with us. We thank you for listening. Hear the band. <laughs>